Hello, this is uh, Glenn here. I'm um, giving you a video tutorial, basically, well, not a tutorial, but a, a, a sort of walkthrough of how I how I made uh, my very first miniature completely from Milliput, which is this thing. Um, basically, I uh, watched a, uh, a YouTube channel called Black Magic Craft, and uh, was in really inspired by some of the stuff they were doing on there. Um, so I went out and bought um, a few boxes of Milliput and thought, what the hell? I'll just go crazy, see what happens. I'd also previously bought, after watching the, the aforesaid uh, channel Black Magic Craft, I bought a tentacle roller which you can get off eBay or through uh, the Green Stuff website. I, I bought this. It was probably, I think it was about £12.99. Comes with like a, a whole set of different sort of scaled, uh, comes with large sort of uh, uh, texture. Comes with medium texture and small texture for if you want to do something really dainty. Uh, there is an XL version, which I have not got, but uh, you can actually get that. Uh, for making great big sort of multi-textured cylindrical objects. Well, I decided to make sort of tentacles because I love tentacles coming out of great big monstrous mouths and Cthulhu type things. So that's what I tried to make. I'd um, I'd watched a uh, a tutorial about uh, how to play Cthulhu Wars and. It looked fantastic, and I thought the miniatures were really good, but I thought, you know what, I want to try and make something which looks sort of similar to that kind of thing, but better. So, I think I achieved that with this crazy, monstrous creature. I've not finished yet, uh, this is just the uh, halfway line, uh, but I will tell you exactly what I've, I've done and what I've, uh, what I've got in store for this. So... What I did was, I got Milliput, I rolled it out, um, put it on my tentacle rollers, and created the tentacles. And the tentacles, I needed jigs to get them into all the different positions. I used everything and everything, so I used just, I even used a toothbrush at one point to get the tentacle in the right position. Uh, packs of, uh, <laughs> packs of <laughs> tissues, my... my my actual uh, exacto knife. Uh, yeah, I used everything um, just so when I had the the uh, tentacle in the right position, when it was wet, I would put it into the uh, gullet of this thing and let it droop down, and they all went on the floor, and it looked great. And I thought, well, I want some to actually come off the ground a little bit, so it looks like you know they're not just all splayed out on the floor. I want something to be sort of creeping upwards. So I thought, well, how am I going to get that effect? Because uh, Milliput, when you actually uh, mix it together and try and sculpt it, it just basically sinks down into a big blancmange if you don't sort of put it in the right position to set. So that's what I did. I thought, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it to set for a little while. So I put it in a big block and I left it there. And yeah. It was really good, and I thought, well, this is a bit stiffer. So as I started to actually move it into the positions, it started cracking, and it had all kinds of cracks all over the surface. So basically what happens is it's, it, it sort of cures from the surface down to the core. So as soon as you start moving it, the surface is going to stretch, it's going to crack. So it's got to be malleable. So basically you've got to actually get it into the position that you want really quickly. And... I thought, well, you know, sculpt them into the right position. And when I got the right position, I just basically looked around for whatever was at hand and just sort of just propped them up. That's what I did. I know it sounds really, really rubbish, but it worked really well. Um, as you can see, you know, I've got these sort of tentacles, like sort of uh, curling up in different positions and stuff like that. Uh, I wish on the funnel of this creature, I wish I'd have used the... Uh, well, this, it's gardening wire, which I bought from Screwfix. And uh, it's basically sort of 12 gauge wire. And I wish I'd have bought that in advance and used it. Because what I've done was I've made a circular base. 
and then like a little prop coming out of it and then sculpted the milliput around it. Milliput doesn't like to be put in vertical shapes and then gone out into horizontal shapes because it just basically folds down and just sort of, you know, just squashes and, you know, turns into this sort of jellyfied sort of mass at the bottom. So if you sculpt it around sort of a, uh, a, a, a solid sort of spine, which is what I wanted to do, then it would have been, you know, slightly better. Um, as for the horns on the back, they look, I don't think they look that great, to be honest, but it's a little bit of a sort of, you know, it's better than just completely nothing on the back. Uh, what I did was I basically had waited for the whole funnel thing to dry in advance, and then I, I sculpted some of these little horns and then put them on the back and then used a bit of spit Believe me, spit is really great on milliput just for sort of dissolving it and blending it into whatever surface it's attaching to. And it just sort of like sculpts, it just melds straight into the surface. And then use whatever tool you're going to use. I use a lot of sculpting tools. I know it looks like a, uh, a dentistry instrument, but uh, I just used it to sort of dapple up the effects of the side of the... Uh, the side of the horn I can't this is not really focusing very well but you know and it looks like it looks like part of the whole design really so that's the kind of effect that I want to get um, as for the beast itself I can't wait to paint it I think the dappling effect that I've done is really going to take the ink really well so it's going to um, it's going to really sort of uh, get that depth and the Certainly the ridges that, you know, I used for, uh, used on the, uh, the tentacle maker, they're going to get, if I highlight those, they're going to look absolutely fantastic. If I dry brush them, uh, use some inks on the depth and then use the dry brush over the top. This is going to look really, really good. I just need to work out what color scheme I want the whole thing, but when I've painted it, I am going to post it. So if anybody's got any questions, just give me an email. Thank you.